Welcome to Modeling Monday, where I examine a real-world financial situation using Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we'll look at the question, should I invest in a Roth or traditional retirement plan? Many people are faced with the decision between investing in a pre-tax or post-tax plan, but very few put pen to paper, or in this case an Excel model, to decide which plan is best suited for their needs. So let's take a look. Understanding the options. The United States tax code allows for two major types of retirement savings, pre-tax and post-tax. Pre-tax contributions are tax deductible, meaning that money is invested before you pay state and federal income tax. Taxes will be paid when money is withdrawn from the retirement account. These accounts are called traditional plans. Post-tax contributions are not tax deductible and are invested after paying state and federal income tax. No further taxes will be paid if withdrawn during retirement. These plans are called Roth plans. Let's begin by building a model to compare the two options. This workbook can be downloaded at financialmodelingexcel.com slash data. And we will be looking at the worksheet Roth versus traditional. So we'll begin, this will be what you'll download, and this is empty. So first, let's take a look at retirement rates. For now, we're just going to do a simple comparison and do 25% and 25%, meaning any money that we earn today will be taxed at 25% and then in retirement also at 25%. Depending on your situation, these two rates may very well differ, and in most cases they do, and we're going to show comparisons for that. Next, income. Now first, if we want to have money to save, we need to earn it first. And in this case, we're going to earn a total of $5,000, and we're going to save that entire amount. Here, I just did some random investment returns for a 10-year period, just so we can compare. We'll start out in balances. In the case of a Roth, that is a after-tax money. So therefore, we need to, at time zero, we need to calculate how much we're going to invest. So we earn it first, and then we pay taxes today. So we're going to start by using the equal sign, $5,000, and then our times, open parentheses, 1 minus our tax rate pre-retirement, and then close our parentheses. So essentially, we're going to earn $5,000, pay taxes in it today, and all we're left to invest is $3,750. In the case of the traditional, we're going to begin with $5,000, and since it's a pre-tax dollar, goes in before we pay taxes, we're just going to hit enter. Next, we'll begin calculating the rates of return. In the case of the Roth, we're going to begin with $3,750 and experience this chain of returns. So we're going to begin with our equal sign, we're going to begin with our investment, we're going to multiply it times, open parentheses, 1 plus the rate of return. Because we have our existing money already, we're going to add 1 to each rate of return, so that therefore it's going to invest our money plus whatever rate of return, or in some cases, whatever losses we have, because we want the ending amount, and then hit enter. Now in this particular case, because we're going to copy this to the right, we're going to put a dollar sign and lock the column. Now we'll be able to copy up, or in this case down, and across, and our rates of return. Now this is going to be a little different for, for cell J13, because we don't get to keep all of this money. We don't get to keep all $9,099. So we're going to have to alter that and do the same thing we did in cell I3 times 1 minus the post-retirement rate. Why? Because in retirement, if we were to withdraw that $5,000, we have to pay taxes on it. And we see these two numbers in I and J13 are identical. Why are they identical? Because order of operations for mathematics says that if we multiply numbers, whether it's in the beginning or at the end, it's going to equal the same exact number. 
So in this case, both plans have the same tax rates, have the same rates of return, therefore they are equal. So you would be indifferent to which plan. Now there are very specific things that differ in a traditional versus a Roth that depending on circumstances may show better. However, in most cases, for most people, the tax rates are going to be different, which I will illustrate next. Now we are on irs.com looking for 2016 tax brackets. We're going to begin by looking at those for a single taxpayer. And as you will see, if you earn less than $9,275, you only pay 10% of taxes. In this case, we're going to assume that you earn less than that and you're still going to be saving $5,000. You may be in school in this scenario and not earning much. Then, in retirement, this would be adjusted for inflation, uh, we would expect you, your, your tax bracket to be much higher, perhaps in the 25% tax bracket. So we'll be earning money in the 10% tax bracket, and then we'll be taking money out of our, the plan in higher tax bracket years. We will go back to our spreadsheet where we'll see that the tax brackets for pre-retirement and post-retirement are empty and these numbers match. As we said, this person will pay 10% in a pre-retirement and then 25% post-retirement. In this case, as you will see, they will end this scenario having more money in the Roth than in the traditional IRA and they are better off paying taxes now when they are in a very low tax bracket than paying taxes when they retire in the higher tax bracket. Let's look at another scenario. In this scenario, you are married and file a joint tax return with your spouse. However, you are in a very high tax bracket and pay at the 33% rate. But expect in retirement that you will earn far less and will be in the 25% tax rate. Let's see which plan makes the most financial sense. Now we will examine scenario two. And in pre-retirement during our working years, we expect to pay 33% taxes. And after we retire and earn much less, we will expect to pay 25%. Here we will see that the traditional IRA or 401k makes the most financial sense since that value at the end of the 10 year period is higher than it would be in a Roth. After creating our model, we can conclude that all things being equal, you are better off being taxed when you expect to pay the lowest tax rate. That is, of course, mathematically speaking. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great one.